Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Real Hazardous. Today we're doing a truck towing test. See how the Chevrolet 2500 HD, this high country, with a Duramax diesel does towing our boat, among uh, other features of driving it around town. Exactly, and one person we'd like to thank is um, Nimnik Chevrolet. They've, uh, they've uh, provided two different trucks, the 1500 and the 2500, to do this test at. And if you decide that this is something you want to get, you might want to go by and see the boys up there at uh, Nimnik. Big thanks to Nimnik Chevrolet. So we're going to get into the features of this truck and show you how it does towing and general driving. Stay tuned. A quiet diesel. Bang. <laughs> is it on? <laughs> yeah, I was like, this is diesel, right? It's not like our old F-257-3 where you hear that wah, 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 wah. Right here now. Pretty cool. This is going to be a cool test, guys. We did the Chevrolet 1500 in a previous test, a uh, gas engine. And uh, that was still a good, good truck and did well, but this has got a lot more towing capacity. So we're gonna test how it tows our big boat. Um, compare it to the 1500 and to the Ford 7.3 liter year 2000 old school diesel that we're used to. Just for a little perspective, give you our feedback. We're also gonna take a look at how this truck does just normal driving, right? Because um, most likely you're not gonna be towing boat all the time you're gonna be doing some regular driving around town stuff like that so we're gonna check it out we're gonna check out the features just get a good feel for it and uh, hopefully get you guys some good information if you're trying to decide on what truck to get and you're kind of an outdoorsman like uh, like me and my family who's gonna be going out in the woods towing stuff to the water stuff like that these cars are so so this one especially is so technologically advanced like you get warnings in your seat, your seat starts vibrating. You're like, what's going on? <laughs> it's just a warning. <laughs> um, a big truck like this, you know, turning is going to be a big, a big thing. And what's neat so far is the, uh, the cameras. You know, when I go to pull out, I've got cameras right here showing me a 360 of the car. That way, I don't turn into a pole, or you know, I'm towing something. I don't want to tow that trailer over a curb. And a big thing, you know, is, is trucks, you know, come a long way in terms of just the ride. Like our old truck, it's like, you go for bumps, you feel it, but yeah, it's going to be interesting seeing how the, uh, the shocks do and how the ride feels on this newer truck. That's cool. Yeah, side trailer camera, bed view That's camera cool. lighting. Well, let's turn everything on. That's going to be very nice when trailering. So looking at a truck like this, you probably going to want to use it around town some if you're mainly doing town driving then towing less i would probably recommend the smaller 1500 but if you got a you got a good, good trailer boat something like that to tow like ours i would recommend the diesel but this has some cool features all around i want to tell you guys about first off all the cameras cameras are really nice you turn on this truck you can press the camera you can see a 360 view of everything around which is nice when you're driving in town because not everywhere in town was meant to handle a big truck so i can make sure i'm not running over a curb about to hit a post another car in a parking lot really nice feature and i can even see in the bed of the truck i can see the trailer hitch which is super good for you know backing up and hooking up your tow ball to the uh, hitch um, and features like that i can see right in front of the car everything and then when you're towing, it senses you're towing, and it'll actually, when you put on your blinker, you can see it'll pull up that camera on your screen, so you see down the side of not just your truck, but also the trailer you're towing. So when you're turning, you can make sure you don't take too tight of a turn and pull your trailer over a curb or hit something. It's a really great feature, those cameras. The tailgate's really cool. You can pop just half of it down if you need to reach in. You can pop the whole thing down and then drop that down and then a step comes up. It's got steps all along the side because this truck is pretty tall. It's uh, taller than our old F-250. 
and the steps really come in handy is really well thought out to put them all around there's a light i can turn on in the truck that'll shine a light into the bed so if you need your bed if you're working if it's dark hunting whatever fishing early in the morning gotta grab stuff out of the back you can turn that light on it's really really good idea inside there are a lot of little things a lot of room in the back of the truck the seats can flip up there's storage behind the seats and even if you'll notice up in the top the roof of the truck it's kind of cut out which is great so if you're a tall guy you've got plenty of headspace just a little thing but uh it's a really good idea this is really neat extra headspace inside the truck is really nice uh, phone charger, plenty of cup holders, you know, the heated and cool down seats are nice for in the winter or in the summer. You need to come in from a hot day of fishing, it's nice to have cool down seats. It has a charger for your phone, which is really nice right there in between the front two seats. And the audio is pretty cool. You can adjust where the sound's played, like the very back. If your kids are listening to something you don't want to hear, just pull that back to them or passenger right side left side front you can adjust it. it's got an outlet which is really cool so i can have my sister editing videos while we're on the road we get back from fishing boom we start editing those videos and can have them to you in no time it's got outlets in the bed of the truck i mean it's really i don't even think of the truck as just a truck anymore it's like you know a work center right i mean you can you're using it to tow stuff you can work on stuff, plug stuff in. I mean, it's pretty cool how thought out, you know, they're making the trucks these days. So Chevy's done a really good job with that. It was fun to drive. It was very comfortable. Being a bigger truck, it wasn't as comfortable as the 1500, something to keep in mind if you're not doing a lot of towing, but it was definitely way better than the other trucks I've been on. Turning radius was still good. That's a big thing with trucks. So it was nice that I can make some good smooth turns overall. I liked it. It's really cool, really well thought out. I think it makes a great towing vehicle as well as just a general vehicle around town. A lot of good features. This truck is uh, taller than another one, so I gotta lift up the trailer a little bit. Almost there. So it's cool there's a camera right there you can see that he doesn't need me pointing and pointing and pointing there you go that camera makes it a lot easier because i can see exactly where the trailer hitch ball is and i but the only thing is so opposite of the way you think it should turn back so that's why i had to pull up and back up again but it put me right dead on it though All right guys, now for the true test, the towing. Got our 27 contender, it's 30 feet length overall. Uh, estimated about 8,000, maybe 8,500 pounds of towing that we're doing now. Like I said, when I was backing up, that camera assist that shows right where the trailer edge ball was, was able to help me put it right over. The one thing that uh, I noticed is that it's kind of the opposite of the way you think you would turn it to get it over there. So at 8.5 right now, 8.6 miles per gallon, 8.7. 8.8. We'll get on the interstate for a little while if I have a saddle on. Yeah, I'll be curious. All right, guys, about to get up on the highway and uh, see how she does. over the uh, over our older 7.3 diesel it's granted it's older but also a big difference compared to the 1500 you know v8 gas engine that we tested 2500 diesel duramax um, and the 1500 
you know, did all right. Don't get me wrong, it could do it. But I would say it was the max for that 1500, whereas, you know, you could go bigger with this truck. You know, easily this is pulling this boat, you know, no problem whatsoever. You know, I don't feel the tug. I don't feel any kind of sway. It's been, you know, very stable, very, very good vehicle so far. It's like we're averaging about uh, eight-ish miles to the yellow, uh, running at uh, speed limit 70. So uh, that's that's good. And granted, too, there's this is a 22 model. It's actually pre-owned, um, so it's got 12,000 miles. But this thing, it ain't even broke in. So I've heard mileage gets better, you know, from from guys with the other diesel trucks after a little while after it breaks in. So. Um, I think in the long run it will be a little better. But you're pulling a big, you know, boat. Whenever you're towing something big, you're not going to get great gas mileage. <laughs> right. But on the flip side of that, not towing anything, we're getting that water around 21, 22. So, um, you know, you don't pull. We probably pull more than most people with our more time pulling on with our truck than most, but. If you're just an average driving around town and you know not pulling stuff, you probably are, are way ahead of the game in this truck versus mine. But now, as far as the takeoff, I definitely can feel the difference between this and that 73. Even this and the uh, 1500 we tested. Yeah. Oh yeah. And the 1500 was probably more like the 73. This one here, you don't. You don't really feel the drag on it with this big boat that you did with the other one. How's it feel? Feels good. Um, no lack of power on it. Not much sway at all. I think the truck being a little bit larger maybe takes a little bit of the uh, fight out of it where the boat might have more control than the truck sometimes. It feels like acceleration is really easy. Yeah, we'll tell. struggle. All right, guys, we just finished our tow test with the Chevrolet High Country 2500 with a uh, Duramax in it. We've got the Allison transmission, I believe it's a 10 speed transmission, 2022 model. So, uh, very powerful, pretty cool. Yeah, what were your thoughts? You were driving it. Well, it definitely had more power than my 73 Power Stroke, it handled better. I didn't notice it being back there behind me as I did with the the older truck mm -hmm. so that was a, a good thing to it uh, a lot more comfortable to drive um the, the probably the downside i would say it would be is the gas mileage or fuel mileage made up might have been a little bit bet a little bit worse or at even at, at best probably mm -hmm. and granted truck still not broken yet be interesting how it does definitely on the road you know we just drove it around just to see how it would be it was um a lot more fuel efficient you know not towing anything Right, when you don't have anything behind it, now there's definitely a big difference on that old 7.3. I get it 15, maybe 16. This one, we were in the 20s. Yeah, 18 to 20, depending on highway and city. Yeah. And stuff like that. Um, Power-wise, it felt very powerful. Right, going up the ramp, no no pull on it. Going over overpasses, didn't kick back down like my other one would do into a, a lower transmission. Of course, <laughs> with 10 speeds, you, obviously, if it did drop back, you probably wouldn't notice it on a couple of speeds. But Right. My old one's three speed versus 10 speed. Yeah. So a um, couple things to think about what we want to compare this to. Reference to our old truck, just to give you guys an idea. We also did a, the same tow test with a Chevrolet 1500 gas truck, gas engine. It towed it well, you know, also, but not as powerful for sure. Right, I mean, if I was going to choose, I would definitely choose the 2500 over the 1500. For, for towing that mm -hmm. big a boat. Now, as far as comfort and all, it was probably a little more comfortable than that 1500. Right. This had a great turning radius, but the Chevrolet 1500 
had a little bit better. I could still do the uh, the old culvert test. I can do a, a full circle on a culvert without having to stop, put it in reverse, um, like some of the old trucks. So that was that was good. Exactly. Mm -hmm. um, so basically, for reference, guys, I would say if you have a boat like ours, about a 30 foot or bigger boat, you could pull it with that Chevrolet 1500. But if you do it more frequently, I would recommend a truck like this. Especially on a long haul. Yeah, especially if you're doing longer towing trips, more frequent trips. I was just going with at least a 2500 diesel. Now you can use the 1500, it'll it'll do it. And if you got a smaller boat, we did our bay boat, no problem. But man, this thing, it, I mean, really, I've heard the expression. I didn't really believe it until I went, and, you know, tried it. You don't even know the boat's there. And that is absolutely the truth, too. Yeah. See, sometimes you have to look back to make sure you didn't lose your boat when you were going down the road. Like, dang, is it still oh, it's back there? Mm -hmm. So that's definitely the positive of it. If, um, yeah, yeah, I guess the new modern engines, those Duramaxes seem to be very powerful. Mm -hmm. And uh, that truck seems to do the job. Now, and I would pull my boat anywhere with this 2500. Mm -hmm. Well, we hope you enjoyed the video. Hope y'all learned a few things. If you guys have any questions or comments, if you use this truck, please let us know your thoughts. And don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.